Hey friends, on today's video, we are going to be taking a look at this Kitty carbon monoxide alarm with a digital display. Let's get it open and see how it works. Okay, so here is everything included out of the box. We have a user's guide, some warning instructions. You got three batteries that are also included, which is nice, those are AA batteries. And then you have the main unit. Uh, also on the packaging, it shows a few of the features. Let's check those out really quick. You got a digital readout. You've got battery powered, so you don't need to hardwire it to the house. And in the event of power goes out, you will have the ability to still monitor your carbon monoxide. We've got a peak level memory. We also have a test reset button, a 10 year limited warranty and a loud 85 decibel alarm. Now looking back at the unit, you can see there is our test and reset button. We have got an alarm over here. This is lights up red. Obviously it means move to fresh air. You've got a little operate button and I believe that blinks green. We'll test that out here just to let you know that it is operational. And then you've also got a button that you can push and get our peak levels that this thing has been monitoring. And then we've got this nice digital display. Again, it's really nice to be able to just get a quick level of where the house is or the room that you're using it is at that specific time. We also have a couple of indicators which are really nice. You got a low battery alert. You also have an end of unit life alert. So I believe these do uh, last roughly 10 years or so. And then it is gonna give you an indication that it is at the end of its life cycle and you do need to purchase another one. Now again, if you do like these, you can purchase it in a description box below. We'll have a link down there where you can get it on Amazon. And uh, this is actually was fairly uh, inexpensive. It really was a, a good deal, just a couple extra bucks to get that nice digital uh, readout. On the back here, uh, you can actually mount it on the wall. This is the, the slip area where you put the screws in and, and then let it hang on the wall. I'm just gonna open up this backing real quick. And inside the battery compartment, we've got a stay fresh pouch, which we can disregard. And we also have uh, some screws and the a little uh, drywall uh, insert there where you can hang it on the wall anywhere you choose. And then we also have the battery compartment. And as you can see, you, you've got the manufacturer date on there so you know what date that this originally started. And again, you have roughly 10 years or so before this will have an end of life cycle. Okay, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and get this mounted on our wall and let's give it a test to see what that digital readout looks like. Okay, just for reference, I wanted to show you our old carbon monoxide alarm that I'm going to be replacing. Again, no digital display. It basically will alarm if our levels get dangerous and so we need to evacuate the area. Now, this alarm is over 10 years old now. And I'm just gonna remove it, just, just kind of like our new one where it had a couple of slots there to hang on the wall. Unfortunately, these are too narrow. I'm actually gonna have to move this out about, oh, a quarter inch to a third of an inch there so it fits the new one. Okay, so here it is mounted now in the correct position. As you can see, we're already getting that digital readout and zero is a great thing. It means it is not detecting any carbon monoxide in the air. Now here's what the instruction booklets say are dangerous levels. Again, if you got a low level, it's gonna be below 50. Mid levels are anywhere from 50 to 100. And then high levels and dangerous levels are obviously gonna be anywhere above that 100 meter mark. And you need to escape to safety immediately. Okay, so let's take a look at our buttons. We have the test and reset function. This serves the same purpose when you do this test, it looks like it actually recycles the entire system here. So we're gonna push and hold for a couple seconds. You're gonna hear a really loud beep. And then it will start our test. You're gonna get these three dash, four beeps, five seconds of silence, and then four beeps again. There you go, one more. That lets you know the test is done. At this point, you'll see all eights pop up and you'll see them kind of cycling. This just means the unit is resetting. Now this takes roughly five to 10 seconds. And then we're gonna get that zero back as you can see. All right, the other thing we can do is test our peak level button. If I push and hold this, we're gonna get our peak level. Now again, because I've just recycled this, obviously it's gonna to continue to be on zero. But this is great to have if you believe that there's potentially been a leak and you wanna check this even though the levels are really low or at zero and see if there was any carbon monoxide in the recent uh, time period. 
Okay, now obviously you're gonna to need to check out the instruction booklet for all the alarm settings. As you can see, we do get a green light that flashes every 30 seconds to let us know that this is in operation. Okay, there you go. I hope that was helpful. That's basically an overview of this kitty carbon monoxide alarm. If it has, would you guys hit that thumbs up button? It just lets me know I'm making helpful videos. And if you wanna subscribe, we got a bunch more tech videos that are coming up really, really soon. Thanks so much for watching.